Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know I do like to hone in on detail. I produced a video a while back that spoke very specifically about this. It's a, a process that I call talking about something or taking photographs about something rather than photographs of something. And typically this involves perhaps man-made things. But you can equally apply the same philosophy to nature. So here we've got some stones naturally, well obviously they're naturally put here, whatever, but they're covered in moss, they're very nice, and fallen upon them are a series of leaves. Now, so the moss is very interesting, obviously green, different colours of green on this face, different style of moss here, or perhaps just a different growth or dieback pattern, I'm not sure. I don't know enough about these things, but what I do know is that the colour differences between the brown dead leaves that are lying on top of these and the green below works very very well and I do like this kind of study of uh, of nature like this yeah you know, it's it's kind of telling a story of the year if you like and I find it difficult to ignore shots like this I really do the opportunities here are really, really rather nice, but I'm going to have to work with the tripod because uh, there's not a lot of light here. I particularly like this leaf here because it's got its stem on it. In fact, a lot of them have, but it's just the way it's fallen and the, and the position it's in. It's really rather nice. And you can see I'm coming completely over it. I'm going to get rid of that before I knock everything flying with it. Get rid of that, put that there. This is now all about the space around it. How much am I going to let this breathe? So if I zoom out here, I rather think it needs to be quite prominent in here, but I don't know whether it needs to be too prominent. So I've a decision or two to make about how this frames up and I really kind of like it here let's just zoom out the only problem I've got with it here is it's pointing out of frame but I don't know whether that's an issue with it here it could be but if I reframe it so it's on the other side I've got a, a smudge of something there which is quite quite nasty on the eye and uh, I don't like that so much. If I zoom in a little more to it, I can't get rid of the smudge. Even even there I can't, unless I get closer and go macro. So no, I'm gonna have to settle it unless I'm prepared to move it, which maybe I will after I've taken the first shot. But let's, let's not worry too much. I like that little shot. I really, I really, do like that shot it's very very nice probably take some um, some boosting in post to get that uh, that that absolutely perfect but i think it's a great little shot There's two others on here which kind of have an interaction with one another but I think that requires a vertical composition. I'm finding this one really tricky to get everything on the rock without pulling other details uh, into it. Can I straddle it? What happens if I try to straddle that? Can we straddle it? What happens if we do that and then adjust 
here so we get right over the top of it. I think that's just about got it. The angle of this now really could be a vertical or a horizontal. It almost doesn't matter because we are pretty much a square onto it. I like the interplay between the two of them, it's very nice. Might do another one here because we've got this nice one right in the corner here although I think I'm gonna to have to get very close to this I can't isolate this one from the edge of the rock but what I can do is give it enough shallow depth of field to really kind of work it. So what I'm going to do with this, focus stack this shot to just give us that shallow depth of field. So I'm gonna see what happens at night. Oh heck, my knees have gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm not built for this and I've moved the, I've moved the camera in this process of getting up as well. So I need to readjust. I've got too much depth of field on that. So we'll just redo it again, but we'll put it to f2.8 and we will change the focus differential to, to 2, which is really narrow, and we'll do the same shot again. And I think that's looking better. I know that's looking better. very pleased with that <laughs> so let me know what you think of these three shots and uh, I'll uh, get on my way down the dial so this is Lath Kildow it's not a place that I've investigated before it's actually it's not even a place I knew about before been driving around in the motorhome for a while uh, just come down from the roaches and the sunrise video that you saw last week and if you haven't seen it there's a link in the description this is a very high-sided dale uh, with a rich history of lead mining which is partly why the river that you're looking at here is dry uh, a lot of the water disappears into the many mines and shafts underneath this area during the summer months or drought we've had an incredible incredibly hot summer uh, with uh, some record temperatures and quite a lot of um, uh, quite a lot of drought warnings and you can see that it's been so hot which it's so evident in some of the plants these wonderful little ferns in this bridge stanchion from part of the old mining works those at the top that get the most water are still kind of clinging on but those lower down aren't Mining was such a big part of this area, and here there's um, the remains of an old mine. This broken building is actually built on the top of a mine shaft, literally capping the top of the mine shaft. And it was an operation uh, as a building on top of the mine shaft when the mine was operational, and you can climb down there. It's a little echoey here. Echo. Actually, it's not that echo, is it? Hmm. Anyway, I'm in a mine shaft, <laughs> of all places, uh, and of all places, it's somewhere I found a nice little shot. Um, again, detail. Just, just detail. Uh, it's so drippy and and uh, damp and. Cool.
cool down here. Uh, and it's, of course, it creates a different environment for things to, to live. Now, what I'm photographing, part of it lives here and part of it doesn't. In fact, part of it's dying here. Um, but it's very nice. Let me show you. So you can see there's a leaf there. I know that the cat, this little Osmo pocket is not really showing this up very well, although it's probably showing that battery. Uh, going to flatten symbol in a moment. So let me just take that. And it's the colour again. I can't put these things on. Yeah, I can't ignore the, the colour. The colour is gorgeous. Um, and... Uh, yeah, just simple, nice, little shot. Um, hope you like it, uh, and I'm uh, going to get back on my walk around the dale, see whether I can find anything that's uh, not subterranean. In this mine shaft, there's this very interesting kind of hand crank generator that puts some lights on down the shaft. It's quite interesting. Not terribly bright though. You can see the river running at the bottom of the shaft though. It's not terribly deep. But outside, as you see, the river is still totally dry just around here. Can't resist a blackberry. You can see a little further up, there's some water. And it's where I found my first kind of seam. So the river is a river here rather than just a, a dead dry river bed. And it's probably the first seam, as in wider, not detailed seam, that I have come across down here and it's rather nice and I'm kind of debating how to to shoot it at the minute I'm I've got a vertical composition and it, it's rather nice we've got this little uh, curve running through the river and it's framed by this tree up here um, I've got a bit of sky in it which is probably against my better nature actually, uh, better nature, my better judgment I should say. I'll probably shoot one with the sky and one tilted down a little bit more without, I think the sky has given it, although there's no, I mean it's, it's dull now, uh, we've lost the light, light's very flat, it doesn't stop the scene being unpleasant, or make the scene unpleasant I mean, um, I'm just not sure, I, I, it's, it's a nice composition, it just would benefit from some light, but there's some separation. There's not a great deal, but there's some. Oh, my knees do not like this. Ow. So we just tilt down a touch. We've now got this rock in here as a kind of anchor point at the bottom, but still, <laughs> I'm waving around frantically, but, uh, but still with the edges of this tree in and of course when I take the shot in 4.3 rather than 16.9 we'll get a bit more of both. I may have to focus stack this. I wasn't quite so bothered about softness in the foreground before but I am now. This river is very nice but there's not a lot of wildlife in it I've seen so far. A few mallards. Um, obviously there's flies around but I haven't seen any dippers or uh, I'm not likely to see kingfishers. I imagine it's way too shallow here at the moment for kingfishers. Uh, but uh, dippers, no, I expect to see some dippers. Maybe it's a little bit more frantic up there, uh, water-wise. Perhaps we'll walk along a bit further and see what else we can find. But in the meantime, please enjoy this photo because I think it's rather nice. 
let me know what you think give it a thumbs up down below and uh, leave me a comment Well, I've decided that I'll now just turn around and go back. The river further up peters out and comes back again. And the sky is, why can't I tie my laces? <laughs> the sky has gone from a bright sunny day with clouds to a dull non-sunny day with clouds. And I feel maybe I've got what I, well, not what I wanted, not what I came here for. I didn't come here for anything. I came here to see what there was. I came here for photographs of things I'd never seen before, of places I've never been. I suppose I could have walked for another 45 minutes or so, but I am feeling a bit tired. And uh, yeah, having been up incredibly early, uh, this morning at stupid o'clock for sunrise and uh, if you missed that video it's linked up here yeah I think it's probably time for me to head back have a cup of coffee a uh, bit of a sit down and work out where I'm going to um, find a park up for the night so I've started selling some prints that I feature in some of these videos. If you would like one of these hanging on the wall, please do get in touch and we can sort something out for you. Please click the like button and if you want to see more, subscribe as well. Thanks a lot.